Hello and welcome. In this Selenium WebDriver tutorial, we are going to learn how you can implement explicit weight in Selenium WebDriver script. So in the previous tutorials, I've already covered what are weights in Selenium, what is implicit weight, what is explicit weight, and what are fluent weights. Now we are trying to implement implicit, explicit, and fluent weight. So um, if you haven't watched through the previous tutorial, please go through and watch those first before you come back and uh, understand the implementation of explicit weight in Selenium WebDriver. So um, we have already seen why you need implicit weight or why you need any sort of weight in your uh, Selenium script that we have already seen. And after implementing the implicit weight, we didn't have to put any hard weight uh, that we used to do like thread.sleep, right? So this is not the recommended practice in any automation um, uh, script unless until you are, you know, trying to debug or just trying to learn. So you shouldn't be using, you know, thread.sleep because what this does is it uh, pauses the execution for two seconds or whatever time you specify here and that slows your automate automation execution time and that is why you should be using the dynamic weight which are the implicit explicit and fluent weight so um we have already seen the implicit weight i'll comment out this line here and let's understand how you can implement the explicit weight now the difference between implicit weight and explicit weight is uh, i want to reiterate that implicit weight is applicable to the all uh, you know uh, further uh, statements or further uh, script web element that are available in your script and you just have to uh, you know implement implicit weight once in your script and then it will be um, you know applicable for all the web elements that are there on the page and it will uh, you know look for or wait for those uh, availability of those web element or visibility of those web elements for the amount of time that you specify right if it is not able to find uh, that web element within this specified time so for example in this case 10 seconds then the script will time out and it's apl applicable for all the web elements but then there are scenarios in the in you know like the actual uh, web interfaces where uh, there are some web elements which take quite a while uh, you know to to load but there are other web elements which load pretty faster so in that case you can't say for example there is a there are you know one or two web element on a page which take like 15 to 20 seconds so would you just go ahead and change the implicit weight to 20 seconds and what if those web element take even more than 20 seconds say 30 seconds so you can't just keep going and changing implicit weight according to you know the max time that is taken by one of the web elements so that's where explicit weights come in picture and explicit weight specifies the weight for that particular web element or web elements on the page. So you can specify uh, for which particular web element you want to wait for that long. And that's where we will implement the explicit weight. Now in this example, we know that if we don't have the implicit weight, so let me run this and show you. So this is, you know, like the implicit weight and uh, there was an issue with ebay.com subcategory that we were trying to click if we were not providing any weight so there is a synchroni synchronization issue which i'll show you in the exception so it will hover over the electronics category but then i want to click on appliances right which is the subcategory but it throws an exception if we go here then we see that it throws an exception that invalid selector exception right and this is a, a clear case of synchronization issue and that's why we need to implement the weight so in order to implement the explicit weight we know now that only for this particular when when the script comes and tries to click on you know this appliances link that's where the synchronization issue is so we can specifically implement explicit weight for this particular link rather than putting the implicit weight across the whole script so how we can do it we can simply after we are moving to the category so we are moving here to the element which is basically uh, this electronics category right so we are doing mouse over and that's what this line is and after that we'll implement the explicit weight and in order to implement explicit weight, there is a class in Selenium WebDriver, which is WebDriver Weight. 
okay and we have to create an object of this class okay and this class accepts uh, you know um, there's a constructor that accepts the driver reference and the duration so for example you want to wait for you know 10 seconds so that's what um, it accepts and will create an object of this class right by just appending the new keyword and then we'll import this web driver wait class okay and now what we'll do is we'll simply say web driver wait so we'll create you know a variable and we'll say the variable as wait okay now there is some deprecation warning which we'll discuss later but uh, as of now i'll go through uh, you know uh, the documentation and let's walk through this particular class so we'll scroll down and we'll go to web driver wait class okay so here you can see there are constructors so the, this one is deprecated you can see uh, the first one uh, which takes reference of the clock and sleeper uh, long time out and sleep out so that's deprecated and this is the one that we are using it doesn't show that it is deprecated but uh, actually i believe you know in selenium uh, 4 it might be deprecated because i'm using selenium 4 uh, which is still not released so i'm getting this deprecated warning so we'll see how we can uh, remove that that's not a problem uh, so that's that's what constructor we are using so we have provided the driver reference and the timeout in seconds all right so um, then what we need to do is we need to simply after this step we'll say wait dot and then we can call the methods right so wait dot until and then we can pass the conditions here okay and how we can pass the conditions so we can say expected conditions all right expected conditions and then if you say dot you will see all the conditions that are available in explicit wait for the particular you know like web element state or whether the attribute is present so if you go through this list you will learn a lot right so if you just you know um, keep going through and reading out what all these conditions are and then while practicing uh, just keep practicing with different conditions when you are doing the automation you will find a lot of information around the explicit weight now in this case what we are looking for is basically visibility of the element right so we are uh, checking when the visible when this particular web element is visible then we can click on it so we'll just see which method we can uh, use so we will see visibility of uh, the web elements so visibility of element located right so we'll use that visibility of element located and the locator so we we can use by dot xpath as we used the locator techniques and simply copy this locator and paste there so we'll paste that xpath expression and then we'll use the click method to click so we can simply say dot click and then what this will do is let me remove this particular line here now we don't need it okay and let me format the code so now you can see that what I'm doing is I've created an uh, object of the weight web driver weight class and then I'm waiting for this visibility of the particular web element right which is the subcategory so I'm waiting on for the visibility of this one and only when this particular web element is visible then I'm clicking on it okay so that's how you will implement the explicit weight in selenium web driver so let's try um, running it and see that the script executes perfectly fine this time and we don't get any exceptions so it will open ebay.com go to the category electronics and then click on the subcategory that we have chosen appliances so it looks like there is some issue again with the clicking let's see what the exception is and let's see what it so invalid selector exception okay so looks like there is some issue with the uh, locator that we are using and the locator might yeah okay 
so locator is not correct let me change it um, and then we'll see whether it works fine or not okay so let me uh, clear it and run it again and see if it is fine so once you you know like run your script it's very important to go through the error and read out the error and see what exactly the error is so that you you know like learn how to rectify those errors so you can see clicked on appliances and you are on the home appliances category subcategory now and there are no errors now okay so that's how you will implement the explicit weight in selenium web driver now coming back to this you know warning okay so when you keep you know uh, so with every new upgrade there might be some you know uh, classes that are deprecated or methods that are deprecated in selenium web driver or in any other applications uh, or any other you know like automation tool so you have to basically figure out what is the new way or new method that they have introduced so if you just uh, if i just go to this add suppress warning to this you know deprecation and you hover over you will see that it has been deprecated and instead you can use web driver weight dot web driver weight web driver and the duration now with the previous implementation of the web driver weight when once you specify this 10 this 10 unit was only seconds okay now that's why i believe they have deprecated so that you have the uh, ability to you know provide the duration in the units that you want time unit that you want so what we need to do is we need to simply use the duration class so there is a duration class in uh, java as well so we'll we'll use duration so we'll say duration dot and then you know like off days of hours of you know minutes or of seconds and we'll use that whatever duration we are looking for and we'll say simply 10 seconds right and then if you remove this suppress warning um, now you don't have any warnings there right so that warning has gone and you are using sort of latest implementation of the web driver weight or um, you know the constructor for the web driver weight so that's pretty much all about the explicit weight in selenium web driver um, please keep you know uh, practicing the expected condition go through the expected condition uh, that are available there keep practicing them it will be really really helpful for you to learn in your automation journey to to master all those you know uh, weights and synchronization issues and this is very important concept in a selenium web driver uh, and will help you a lot in uh, you know rectifying or uh, you know uh, fixing the failures that occur most of the time due to the synchronization or the weight issues so hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching